Hello, so today we are going to continue on where we left off last time. Um, so we did, we did validation um, last time. Today um, it's going to be something um, here where we want our UI to work um, correctly with the keyboard. And so uh, let me just show the problem here on the, uh, on the app, uh, on the emulator, and then go from there. So let's say I have I type something in the email, so you can see the keyboard sign here indicates something like go to the next line. Um, so here it goes to the next line, which is not useful for the user when inputting this. What we want is for this to be next and to go to the next field, so that when it's pressed, it goes to password field. And then in password, the behavior right now is similar. Um, right it adds some sort of character uh, yeah so it adds a new line which is um, appears here as a hidden character right and that's not what we want either password is the last field so if everything is valid we want to be able to have a done or check mark to signify that we inputted all the content and then we want that to uh, to send the request uh, for signing in, right? To do the same behavior as clicking on the sign in button. So basically, this is what we are going to focus to focus on, just making the UI works work nicely with the keyboard. So let's go to our sign in screen here. Um, so we have our composable here, uh, and so what we want to focus on is the email, right? So we want to add, we want the keyboard to have when when it's here, we want it to be the next sign. And so to do that, what we can do actually is here use something called keyboard actions. So if we take a look at what keyboard actions do, um, let's go to one of them. So it allows us to specify action that will be triggered in response to user triggering the IME action on the software keyboard. So what actions, it allows us to specify what action will be triggered when these are, are pressed. And so you can see we you, we have multiple. We have on done. So if you specify that I am action is done, uh, if you look at I am actions here, we have default go search send previous next done. So these are the ones available, the I M E actions available to us, and each of them has its um, action that you can define. So if you say that this field I M E action is going to be send, then you need to implement on send. If you say that it needs to be next, then you need to implement on next. And in our case here, what we want is on next, okay? And so what this would mean is in our sign-in screen, we're going to create uh, keyboard actions, right? And then this is going to be on next, of course. Um, keyboard actions and we are going to pass to it on next and then here we are going to do some callback okay uh, one thing though is that we need to specify what IME actions are, are we dealing with and so the way to specify an IME action is actually in the keyboard action so you can see it has a property IME action and so here we can specify that and we can say that our IME action is next okay and now we need to provide something in on next that will allow us to go to the next uh, field. And to do that, what we need actually is something called, um, let's just uh, bump the font a little bit down so you can see more things. Um, so there is this uh, useful compose class called Fox Manager, um, and we can obtain it with. So let's just obtain it here. So it can be obtained with um, local focus manager that current. And so if we take a look, this this is basically a mechanism for compose to pass things not via parameters for each function, but like more like in the tree. And so you, you this local focus manager. Um, it allows us to control focus within a composable, which is what we want here. Um, and so we take this local focus manager, 
and what we want is when when the user presses next on the keyboard for the email field what we want is to call this move focus function and pass that we want the move direction to be down what is move focus here so this function allows us to move focus from one input or from one place to another and what we are allowed to specify is the direction of the where to move to so if we say direction is down then it will move to the next field down in the column so it will move to password um, you can of course do other things like change the order if this is not the order like the order down is not what you want if you want it maybe to move in a certain specific order um, but here it's enough for us for it to move down to the next field right and so this is what we're going to run when next is called for the email field now we will need also local focus manager in password when you press done because we want to clear the focus right completely and so what, what this would mean is that we need local focus manager in the wider parent scope of signing screen right so that when password also done is called we we can uh, call something on local focus manager so what this would mean is that we can we can't create it in the email composable we need to create it in, in its parent and so we need a way to pass it we can either pass it as a variable but even nicer it's to do something like we did here with own email changed which is let's just specify the lambda right so and call it on IME action and specify the lambda for it and so what happens when uh, when next is called is this we want to move the focus down and now we need to define this action in the email composable and so let's just call it we don't need to pass anything and so let's just call it unit and then we need to call it here when on next is called and that should be pretty much it so that's our keyboard action uh, let's make sure it works first for email before going to password. Um, okay, so let's see if, if this works. So uh, we input our email and then we... So you can see here that the icon for the keyboard changed to indicate next. So we can press it. It goes to the next uh, field, password, and then we can type the password and <coughs> the field is disabled. Now the problem is we have the problem with password still, so let's solve it in a similar way. So what this would mean here is we'll pass a similar on IME action to the password here. And then we need to call it on the IME done action. And so to do that, we will need to specify that our IME action is IME action dot done. And then here we need to specify our keyboard actions. Uh, so we need keyboard actions equal to and then we will have on done which would be equal to similar to what we did before so this would be on IME action function and that would be it um, and then we need to pass the behavior that we want on IME action done in the sign and screen composable so let's do that here so this would be on IME action and the behavior that we want to pass is that we want to clear focus right because we don't want to focus anything else um, and so we do clear focus here and then this is me this would mean when this is called this would mean that done action on the keyboard was clicked which means the user wants to if the input is valid, the user wants to go to sign in, right? And so to do to do that, what we can do here is if um, the input is valid, right? So if this, right? Then we wanna. Um, so let's just remove this. Then we want to call sign in, right? Because they should be able to sign in now. Um, one thing we may want to do is extract this into a function, right? But for now, I'll just leave it here. Um, and then we need we can call signing right away. And so let's run this, make sure it works. Um, okay, so let's see if this works. So we have our email, we do the input, 
we have next action so we press next it goes to password field we input a valid password we press done and we can see the um, sign in log that we had is printed now what if the um, let's clear this and what if the input was not valid so the input not valid let's press done you can see nothing happens but because we did clear focus the uh, keyboard gets hidden um, and then if we input it again signing button is there we get the signing function called um, so yeah that's that works um, next we will touch on um, implementing the signing function itself uh, using some API um, stay tuned for that thanks for watching and see you soon